Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today is December 22nd, 2021. It's almost Christmas, so Merry Christmas to anyone who celebrates Christmas. So I just want to make a quick video about uh, the Megan Good uh, divorce that's pending. Um, her husband supposedly filed divorce from her. And I just want to give you my opinion about what's going on and what I think is really happening in this marriage. You know, they were married for about nine years. I'm not sure if it's almost 10, nine or 10 years they were married. And, um, you know, this marriage has always been kind of strange to me, just my personal opinion. You know, um, anytime, like, I hate to be judgmental, you know, I hate to be judgmental, but, you know, something always kind of rubs me the wrong way when you have a woman who does not want to have children okay now of course i understand you got some people out there who just they, you know they just don't want to have kids they just you know they may feel like kids are not for them and i kind of understand that but it, it, it always something always doesn't sit right when i hear women who don't want to have children and especially when they're married uh for nine years and you know the man who she's with is okay with that that's just a little odd to me you know i don't know about you but that's just it always it always gives me a a, a just kind of rubs me the wrong way you know um seems like he really i think in a way in his mind he's kind of glad to um be married or be in a relationship with a woman like megan good because i guess you know she's kind of like on holly berry level you know megan good is she's on the same level as holly berry as far as men desiring to be with her and so forth so i think that that may be a case for him so he was a little bit more submissive i guess you would say to the idea of not having children and uh you know she was a uh, i think he even says some things about her smoking and her drinking and but i guess that comes with a relationship if you want to be with a person of course you have to make accommodations you have to accommodate and get used to certain things you both have to make sacrifices to make the relationship work and i understand that but there's just something odd about the whole marriage that they were in you know when they first came together it was a lot of God, it was a lot of Jesus, a lot of biblical talk, you know, and like I said, I'm not, I wasn't in there to really judge the marriage, so I don't think anybody knows what happened in the, in the household, you know, they could have been arguing every single day, as far as we know, so we don't know how the marriage really was, and we know people have a way of, you know, making themselves look a certain way when they leave outside of their house and Megan Megan Good is a celebrity and she's an actress so she probably has to keep up a certain image and also he's a pastor well, I mean not a pastor but I think he's a, a preacher or minister so he also has to keep up a certain image so they probably both were putting up a facade or putting up a you know some type of image to make sure they keep their employment make sure they keep their income coming in but we don't really know what was going on behind closed doors and i actually kind of talked about this similar to my genie my video about how she didn't want to have children and then when she got with jeezy all of a sudden she has children now and it's funny because megan the megan good i keep saying megan the good megan good she's the she's 40 so she's around that same age as um genie my is uh or was when she got with jeezy so um i don't know i don't i don't want to be too judgmental but like i said it's just something a little something doesn't sit right when you have a christian so-called christian marriage you know and you're together for nine years and by choice you decide not to have children now once again there could be re many reasons not to have kids but it just it always gives me that there's something a little bit deeper 
going on here you know i've always felt like that i've always felt like there's something a little bit deeper something psychologically something emotionally going on you know especially when you're financially stable you know you're with a man who you say you really love and you guys are getting along well why not have kids i mean you got you got money you know you got uh a good man you know uh why not you know at least one you know you don't have to have five six kids just even at least one out of out of the marriage nine years if i truly love a woman i'm going to want a, a child out of her at least one you know we're going to be together for nine years we're going to have a baby at least one especially if we're doing fairly well for ourselves we both got decent careers both good looking getting along well but i'm starting to think that um maybe her husband has got to the point where he has changed his mind and he wants to have children now and maybe megan she decided that she doesn't want to have kids and she's pretty firm on that and for whatever reason that is i guess she probably gave us a reason but i i I can't look at it at it from surface level i always think that it's something deeply rooted in that but maybe she doesn't want to mess up her body i don't know but uh I'm starting to think that it has something to do with um, not having children. I think that he's changed his mind and he decides that he wants to have a legacy. And um, one, of the reasons, one of the ways you leave behind a legacy is having children. And she decides she doesn't want to do that. So, But at the same time, it's kind of strange because, you know, Megan Good, she actually froze her eggs. Which is, that's, that just makes it a little bit more confusing. Because, see, women who usually freeze their eggs, they do that because they do look forward to having children in the future, right? And one of the things that's kind of holding them back is they haven't found a man yet. But she's been married to this man for nine years, almost ten years. And supposedly he's a good man and she likes him. So why are you freezing your eggs if you're married? That doesn't make any sense to me. To me. Unless there's a medical problem that he has but i i highly doubt that that's what it is i highly doubt that he has a like some kind of medical issue that's keeping him from um being able to uh you know um conceive a child with her you know i think there's something else going on but that's just me so i'm i'm, I'm going to end this video y'all tell me what y'all think um see y'all next time